Reading the Bible in English is good. It's like talking to your spouse on the phone. Um, and when you're traveling, that's, that's what you do. But reading the Bible in Hebrew and Greek is better. It's like talking to your spouse face to face. Knowing Greek and Hebrew is not a magic bullet because uh, meaning does not reside only in words. Here at Bibco, we try to teach uh, Greek and Hebrew as part of reading the Bible, following the text through in its own logic, argumentation, paragraphs, complete thoughts, etc. In the U.S., we have a tendency to read Scripture individualistically. So when the, the Bible says, uh, you, we tend to say, think that that's speaking to me personally. And that's fine, um, but that's not always what the text is saying. In fact, as we learn Hebrew and Greek, we realize that a lot of those yous are plural yous. They're not speaking to me, but they're speaking to us. As we do the work to learn the Greek and the Hebrew, we see this kind of thing a lot. There's a, there's a depth of understanding that comes from being able to read the Bible in Greek and Hebrew, it doesn't come from just reading the Bible in English. What this does for you is not give you the answer to an interpretive question. What it really gets you thinking about is what are the correct questions to ask, even. We tend in the modern world to think our set of problems are the problems we're trying to find out answers from, from the, from the Bible, New Testament, Old Testament. But in reality, we have to actually be schooled in asking the right questions. Knowing the languages helps us see uh, the, the, the set of questions that the biblical writers are actually trying to operate with and trying to answer. Learning Greek, learning Hebrew takes work. It's an investment, but it's a worthwhile investment, an investment that will yield fruit over the course of your entire life and your ministry.